Okay, folks. Um, I had a few problems, so I decided to take the motor and uh, gearbox back, 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 uh, back out of the car. Uh, the problem that I had was that I started to get a squealing sound coming uh, from the gearbox, and it turned out that the jaw coupler that I had fitted here to transmit drive had started to um, the plastic bushing inside of it had started to break up so I decided that I'd uh, have a have a better go at this whole adapter plate and motor coupler thing on a on this occasion so the first thing I've I've done is we've got a new uh, plate here it goes on to the motor face. Uh, this is eight mil steel, and it's been um, it's been cut out to size on a water jet cutting uh, system. As you can see, it's a much neater uh, fit there than that big horrible twelve mil uh, thing that I had on there. So that's the first. Uh, Thing I've done here to change the whole adapter plate drive uh, train. So to make the gap uh, between the be, between the motor here and gearbox, what I've done is I've gotten a bit of 10-inch steel pipe that's been cut to size, and uh, that sits down on top of the uh, plate here. And we have another plate. Again, 8mm steel, cut to size on the water jet, on the gearbox. And uh, I'll just go over here and try and show you this guy. I've just got two bolts in it at the minute, just purely to, uh, purely just to, so I can do a few tests here. There we go. Get her to go over on her face. There we are. So as you can see now, we have a nice 8mm steel plate there um, on the gearbox bell housing now. As you can probably see, it misses these two bolts here. Uh, it's just purely because of the size of the thing. Um, and what I'm planning to do there is to take a little piece of uh, flat steel and just bolt it through there and here and put a held on it. And uh, that'll do the job. I would hope uh, there, but as you can see, it's it's a perfectly flat surface here. It's a, it's a it's a fair bit better than what I had. Okay, so with that part of it uh, taken care of, uh, the next stage was to be the coupler to transmit drive uh, between the motor shaft and gearbox input shaft. So, what we have here is the old jaw coupler half that we had keyed out to fit um, fit onto the motor here. And what I've done is I've cut off the jaws that were on here. There were a set of jaws on this guy, off the shark, uh, similar to this part here. And I went ahead and I cut these off. And then I faced off, um, I faced this off here on the lathe, and I cut a little bit of a, um, a back uh, cut, I suppose you could call it. And then I turned this piece of 60 mil stock here that would fit perfectly inside the little uh, registering surface that I have cut there, and I've. Uh, I've gone ahead then and drilled through and bolted the two up as so. There's a 12.5mm hole there in the centre that's been backboard uh, up to about 35mm ish to take the, uh, the gearbox um, input shaft. Now some of the some of the problems to have when you're doing a solid coupler such as this is getting it so that it doesn't um, shake 
the gearbox apart or break a shaft or something of that sort and when I first um, fitted this on here I was, I was very dis disappointed in it because I found that there was quite a bit of shake in this and um, when I was just powering it from the little 12 volt car battery there just to see what was happening the gearbox was effectively dancing about on top of the plate um, so I, I did a bit of investi investigation here um, and it turns out that I made a mistake the first time that I that I assembled this because this had been previously assembled onto the uh, back of this jaw coupler this half of the jaw guy here so the problem was that and this is what probably caused the uh, this thing to break up in the first place uh, was that this bolt head here uh, this cap bolt head here was pushing against uh, the clutch disc here and this was causing it to be off center and thus um, causing a lot of play so I've just ground that back down and um, it seems it seems to fit fine now so I've done a few tests and uh, I have to say the motor and gearbox uh, seem to be fine so uh, I'll go ahead and uh, fit this guy back on I will do a bit of, of uh, video on that and hopefully all is going to be well now a problem I had as well was with the jaw coupler was that it started to slide back and forth on these splines here so my plan is um, that this this shaft here is tapped M12 so I've got an, an M12 uh, cap screw here that fits that shaft and that's going to go down through the M12 or the 12 mil hole that I have in there and uh, that's going to screw down into the motor shaft and keep this whole thing solid so that it can't slide back and forth. At least that's the plan anyway.